Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our song for 22 June is She Would Follow Me to Siberia. My darling Eve, there were two serious liberating Polish uprisings against the Russian Empire between 1830 and 1870. Many Polish army officers and influential political men were exiled to eastern Siberia. In a striking example of solidarity and loyalty, the wives of those unjustly condemned prisoners chained themselves to their husbands and followed them on a march to the frozen winter hell of Siberia. Such devotion to a husband is a product of a steely love that is stronger than any vow of matrimony or oath of duty. We can see that God provided each generation with women of heroic stature who defeated every government that regarded free decision and choice with the right of freedom and the pursuit of happiness as a concept to be trodden underfoot. Proverbs 31, 10, 11, and 12 says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her value is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so that her husband shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of his life. Proverbs 18.22 says, Whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. I know and trust in my mind and heart that my Eve is such a woman with the same resolve and loyalty to stand with her man throughout the same type of tyranny. It is a glory to God and a tribute to the parents who reared her that Eve is resolute in her beliefs and determined to stand with the ones she loves. She likes the forsaking all others words of her vows. I know her and I know that she would follow me to Siberia if necessary for us to stay together. It is for such a woman who earns and deserves every respect and accolade afforded to those who overcome selfishness and give the full measure of faith in the face of overwhelming force. Because she overcomes, I am encouraged and certain to obtain those goals that promote our undying love. Like the Polish women of 1831 and 1861, she would follow me to Siberia to preserve our family. Confident and certain in our love. Your Kohane. These are the types of things that make our love like iron, bands of iron that can't be broken by the wicked and evil one. And so let's be thankful that God in his mercy and in his grand creative powers enabled uh, the spouses, man and woman, to stand by each other and firmly on the word of God to overcome every wicked and evil thrust of the enemy. I give thanks for the woman I love. She is precious in my sight, but most of all, she is precious in the eyes of the Most High God. He created her the way she is. And there are a multitude of other wives throughout this world that he created and raised up. Those who stand 
firm on his principles and know that he is God. Believe that he will save them just as he resurrected his son and will one day resurrect us unto a new life. And now, my dear friends, we're going to do an appropriate song. We talked about the great love of a woman for her husband. Let's talk about the great love of a man for his wife. Can't help falling in love. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be? If I can help falling in love with you, like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take Take my whole life too, for I can't help falling in love with you. Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes something are meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life for I can't help falling in love with you. For I your heart uh, almost without speaking a word just the sound of her voice and that's how we know it's like a, a babe in the nest a baby bird in the nest uh, it knows the voice of its mother and of its father praise the Lord for the goodness of God and for his mercies in all that um, we do in our lives and we're, aware, we're unaware of all the blessings that go on. We can't count them if we actually were able to count them and, uh, and note them on a sheet of paper. Uh, the world's not big enough to contain all the blessings of God. And uh, now, my dear friends, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon.